Good morning. Today is Monday, April 3rd. It is the Monday of Holy Week, if you observe the Christian tradition, which I do. And it is, it's a good day to have a good day. My name is Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor of the Christian churches in Iliopolis and Nyanic. And I'm here this Monday, as I am every Monday at 9 a.m. Central Time, to give you something to to help you throughout your week. A little something to inspire you, to encourage you, and help you to grow in your life and in your faith. I'm also the founder of Light Life and Love Ministries. This is an outreach effort for those who don't have a faith community, or for those who may be spiritual but not religious, or those who just want resources to build their emotional and spiritual lives. And I'm also the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. Today, I want to talk about something that is foundational to our growth as human beings. I want to talk about self-awareness. This is a huge deal. A huge deal. I don't know how else to put it. The more self-aware we are, the better human beings we are. The more self-aware we are, the better we will move through this world, have better relationships, communicate better. All of the things in our lives get better when we work on being more self-aware. And so uh, let's jump in. Uh, today I'm going to highlight four things. Now, honestly, I can rattle off 25 benefits off the top of my head of being self-aware. So don't feel like it's limited to these four or there are a ton. I'm just lifting out four. So as to give a, a good view of this, I'm going to be on this topic for a while. And today I want to begin with four things that are benefits of self-awareness. And it's not just about understanding ourselves on a surface level. Self-awareness deeply and profoundly impacts our spiritual lives and our faith as well. So it's really a, a good thing to get a, a good understanding of. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing would be improved emotional intelligence. It's emotional intelligence. It's kind of a buzzword these days, but emotional intelligence... Um, Emotional intelligence is understanding your emotions, being able to regulate your emotions, and to being able to understand the emotions of others and to work within all of those frameworks. We may not think of ourselves as emotionally driven. Uh, we may not lead with our emotions. We may lead with our thoughts, but emotions are a powerful force within us. The better understanding of that we have, the better off we will be. So, um... Self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Have you ever had a terrible boss? Have you ever had a toxic person in your life? Have you ever had someone who just has so much drama with them all the time? That is, those are three great examples of a lack of emotional intelligence. So self-awareness being the beginning of growing our emotional intelligence is a profound gift to have. And it's a great skill. And when we lack it, we can wreak a lot of havoc in this world. And we've experienced a lot of havoc wrought by those who don't have spirit, emotional intelligence. So that's a really good reason to work on our self-awareness. And the spiritual benefit of that is the more self-aware we are, the more we can understand our core motivations and values and really that's going to be a, a foundational step in developing our faith. I uh, will connect, connect more deeply with our faith and with our values, and we'll be able to root ourselves in that which we view as transcendent and divine and holy, and it'll help us to find more inner peace. So grow your self-awareness to grow your emotional intelligence. And the second one is increased self-acceptance. This is a big deal. These are all big deals. But when you're self-aware, you're able to accept yourself just as you are, flaws and all. This can lead to greater self-confidence, a more positive self-image. Really, if we don't accept who we are completely and totally, we're going to be stuck in this place we are in life. 
to move forward, to grow at all, to have better relationships, to love better, to love more, to love ourselves more, to love others more. If we want to love others more and be a more positive presence in this world, then we have to learn to love ourselves. And it begins with accepting who we are. If you don't like who you are, it's not cast in stone. You can grow yourself. There are a lot of tools and a lot of ways to transform yourself in this world. And by tools, I don't mean, um, I mean those tools that help us look inside and do that difficult inner work that leads us to better places in this life. So accept yourself, flaws and all, the totality of who you are. Accept that. Uh, thank that version of yourself for getting you this far in life. If there's something you want to grow or transform or heal or redeem about this version of yourself, you can do that. But accept this version. It has been a champion for you so far. It's gotten you to this day. The third thing I would like to highlight about self-awareness is decision-making. Self-awareness can help us make better decisions because it it helps us to understand our values, our goals, uh, what our primary motivations are and our inspiration. When you're self-aware, you're less likely to be swayed by external factors. People often say, well, I don't wanna make an emotional decision. Well, all decisions are emotional to an extent. You want to make an informed emotional decision and not be swayed by external factors. So become emotional, um, become self-aware, learn what your emotions are, learn what they mean, learn how they influence your thoughts, reactions, and all of those things, and you'll be able to make better decisions. And the spiritual benefit of that is when you make better decisions that align with your authentic self and your core beliefs, you're living in accordance with your values. And friends, I have to tell you, when you live aligned in this life with what is truly and most important to you, that's where the real secret sauce is. When your life is aligned every day with what matters most, when your priorities are figured out and lined out and you make decisions based on those things, you're going to love your life. So grow your self-awareness so that you won't be swayed by stuff that doesn't matter. You know, we have those sayings, don't sweat the small stuff. And by the way, most things are the small stuff. This is indicative of that. Learn what the big things are. All the other things are small stuff. And it's so easy to get tunnel vision and focus on the small stuff. So become more self-aware and you can make better decisions based on those things that are important to you. And your faith will soar because you're living aligned with your core values. And fourth is greater resilience. Who doesn't want to be more resilient in this life? Granted, we would like to not have any reason to be resilient. That would be fantastic. But let's face it, we need resilience. We're going to experience many ups and downs in this life. And when we're able to bounce back from adversity, life is easier. Life is better. Well, maybe not easier, but it's certainly richer and it has a lot more depth to it. The ability to bounce back is critical in faith. Let me give you a what if here. What if you face something huge and it knocks you down and you come become disconnected from your faith? Or what if something big comes and it knocks you down and you're able to maintain that connection to your faith. That's resilience. And when you become more self-aware, you become more resilient. You become more in tune with where your strengths are and where that holy strength is, where higher power, where God, however you call upon the holy in your life, where that can be found and where that is connected to you and where you can draw strength from that. And that's what resilience is, is to be able to draw upon those reserves of strength and energy that really aren't ourselves, but come from a higher power and from a source of love that is more profound than any of us can ever know or understand. 
So resilience is an important and vital aspect of our spiritual life and growth. When we're resilient, we can stay connected to faith even in the most trying of times. And again, it begins with self-awareness and all the growth and benefits that come from it. Self-awareness is a crucial part of personal growth and development with important and vital spiritual benefits. And by developing self-awareness, we can improve our emotional intelligence. We can improve our self-acceptance. We can make better decisions and we can become more resilient. And these benefits will help, help you lead a more fulfilling life. You will be filled with all of the good things. You will be filled with the love and connection with God. You'll be filled with love and purpose and joy, and you'll be able to celebrate it and experience it with those who matter most to you. So that's my thoughts for this week. As we go through the experience of Holy Week, for those who are in the Christian tradition, my prayer for you is that it would be a week of profound understanding that from this week you would have a better sense of self, a better sense of God, and a better sense of the love that is present to you. Remember, no matter how bad things get, God always gets the last word. That word is love. Bye for now, friends.